Note that we're using Joomla 1.5 here, so if you're using a later version of Joomla, your interface might look a little bit different. So when you first log into Joomla, you'll be at the control panel. And the way that you access the article manager is either to click on this article manager icon or go up to the top and click on content article manager. And when you first get here, the first thing that you'll notice if your site's been built already is that there are quite a few articles on this page. And you can even scroll through to the next screen by clicking the next button or clicking one of the other numbers down here to navigate through all of your articles. But if you have a lot of articles, that might get a little bit unwieldy or time consuming. So probably a better way to do it is to sort by section and category. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and pick services as the section and SMB packages as the category. And now you can see all of the articles that are contained within that section and category. And you can do a number of different things to these articles. You can filter them. If you're looking for a particular article, you can type in um, one of the words in its title and it'll quickly bring up any pages that match that. You can also do all of the functions up here. So we'll walk through these one by one. Let's say you want to archive an article. You're not using it anymore, you really don't want to see it when you're looking at your active articles, and you just kind of want to get rid of it. So you would check the box next to that article and hit archive. And then if you want to bring it back, you can check it again and hit unarchive. You can also um, publish and unpublish articles here in this interface and it's important to note that if you've archived something and then unarchived it and brought it back it's going to come back as unpublished so you want to make sure that you publish that article and anytime you want to publish an article you can do it a couple different ways you can either click directly on the red circle or you can check the box next to it and go up to the top and hit publish and then likewise for unpublishing it. You can check the box and hit unpublish, or you can just um, click directly on this little green check mark and it'll unpublish that article. But we want to go ahead and keep that one published. Let's say you want to move this article. You can check that box, click this move icon, and then a pop-up window will appear. And you can go ahead and select which section of the site you want to move that article to. You just select whichever one it is over here hit save and it's going to prompt you. It's going to say, are you sure you want to move it to this section? I'm not going to move it right now, but at any rate you would hit save and then it would go ahead and make that change for you. One great feature of Joomla is that it's very, very easy to copy articles. Let's say you've got this article written already, created already, and you've already got all the content in there and you've got some links and everything and you really don't want to do all that work over again. So what you can do is check that article check the box next to that article and then move up here to the copy key, copy button. And again, specify where you want to copy that article to. And in this case, I'm going to copy it right back into the same place that these other files are at already. Hit save. And you can see it actually copied that article entirely. So obviously, you you know want to go into that article and make some changes and um, specify a new title and, and some other things for it, but uh, we're not going to get into that in detail here in this video, but that's basically how you would go ahead and copy an article. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one right now because I really don't want it, and that is coincidentally the next button that you'll see up here at the top. There's a trash button. So I've selected that article over here, and then I'm going to just go ahead and hit trash, because so I just don't want that article on here. You can also edit articles, again by checking and hitting the edit key, I'm sorry, the edit button. And that's going to open up the article window. And um, basically there's a WYSIWYG editor here that works pretty much like Word or any other word processing program out there. And in the video tutorial about creating an article, we walked through all of the other settings over here. So we won't get into all of that now, but it's a very straightforward, easy process to edit an article in Joomla. I'm going to go up here and hit close. And now we're back at the article manager again. There's also a new button up here. And again, we already did a video on creating a new article, so we won't get into all of that here, but you would just click new there. 
there's a parameters button here and you can click that to set global parameters for all of your articles and there are quite a few options here we're going to get into that in a separate video but when you set the parameters there it's going to you're going to be able to specify the parameters that you can set for all of your articles all at once. So you don't need to go in and do them and redo them for every single art article that you create. It's much, much easier when you can set them globally. And then finally, there's a help button up here in the upper right. And that will give you an online access to Joomla's online help system that answers a lot of questions that you might have while you're u using Joomla. So the last thing that we want to go over here is these filters up here. So, like I said, right now we're filtering by section and category, but you can also filter by author, and you can filter by state. So let's say you have a very long list of articles. Some of them are published, some of them are not published, and some of them are archived. You can specify that you only want to see the published ones, and that can help be very helpful when you're working with a long list of articles. So that, in a nutshell, is Article Manager.